Tonight, Morning Michael. It's true, we make a better day, just you and me. A service of song and celebration, but a daughter's tearful tribute steals the show. Ever since I was born, Daddy has been the best father you could ever imagine. <laughs> and I just wanted to say I love him so much. Jackson fans around the world watch family and friends say goodbye. What's the and crying? And a part of you will live forever within all of us. Ten News at Five with Helen Kapalos. Good evening and welcome to this special bulletin of 10 News. And the world has bid a final farewell to the King of Pop. Unlike so much of his life, Michael Jackson's memorial service will be remembered for its dignity and sombre tributes and for the tears of a little girl who loved her father. Reporter Emma Dalimore is at the Staples Centre in Los Angeles. And Emma, it wasn't the circus that many people feared. No, Helen, it wasn't. Officials here were expecting chaos, with more than a million people predicted to show up. They didn't. Outside, it was calm and orderly. Inside, fans called Michael Jackson's memorial dignified. They say it was a fitting farewell after such a successful yet troubled life. After a lifetime on stage, the Jacksons backed up their brother Michael one last time. In single sequined gloves, they carried the King of Pop to his final audience. <laughs> Lavish as always, the 50-year-old's gold-plated coffin took centre stage, just steps away from his three young children. The youngest, Blanket, clutched a Michael Jackson doll as the star tributes poured in for their dad. Just Most stirring tribute came from a shattered Jermaine Jackson. You find that life with one if you just smile. Tears too from R&B star Usher. 